there's this energy that you get from musicians. They are natural dynamos. I don't like calling myself an artist because for years I grew up with artists, you know, being these smug punks, you know, wearing their stupid scarves and claiming to be wonderful people. And they're just the just biggest assholes you could ever find. Art hasn't been lost at all. My hands are beat. They're, you know, I've got like a lot of scars and bruises because this is what I do every day. It's like shaking a man's hand. You can tell who actually works and who sits behind a desk with a pen in his hand all day because he's got the nicest, softest hands. It's like the samurai and the sword. There is this spiritual connection between the warrior and his weapon, his blade. These guys hold them in high regard. They would sit in front of them. They would almost pray with these weapons. Watch a guy restring his own guitar and you'll see that bond with the instrument. Technically speaking, I've probably been at this about a good 22 years, 23 years technically. At first I had my doubts when I got into this. I've built some stuff that I've questioned, certain details. When you got that green monster in your head always saying failure, 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 it is a terrible, terrible thing. There is a real spiritual aspect to this. In a sense, I'm still alive. I'm still playing on stage. This should always keep creating. Even if this thing was busted in half, I'll figure out a way how to put it back together and it'll still keep making sounds. It'll just evolve. The most joy is when a build is done and I put it in the customer's hands and they start going to town. And I can usually see it right in their eyes. They turn into a 10 year old. It's the closest thing I can have that feeling to having a kid. I'll be dead and these things will get passed on. You know, it'll be my legacy, man. My name is Chris Matos. I am a luthier.